It's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the twenty seventh, right around the twenty seventh. Okay, so I just cut the deck. I cut the deck to the seven uh, seven of cups reverse and the lovers. So the lovers is an unexpected choice in love. It's a, it's a connection could be you know a deep spiritual connection whatever it is there's some sort of connection here um, I don't know that angel it feels like we have an angel here that is bringing two people together for some reason and it's clear there's no confusion okay that's, that's seeing very clearly that this is a good choice it's a good match okay so whatever this union is, okay, this is about a partnership. It's a very good match. Uh, deepening a bond of some sort, and it's, it's divinely brought together, okay? Um, and there's, this is like being coming clear of the choice. It's like this is a, and these are both cards of consequences, and they are both cards. It's interesting, now I got them reversed. I got them opposite as I had them, but it doesn't matter. I can have whatever. Um, it is upright. It goes like this. It go, does go upright. Anyhow, um, these are both cards of consequence, and they're both cards of choice. So there's an unexpected choice in love. It's, it is unexpected. Um, there's options here. There's choices. And it's clear that this is a good match. So we could have two people that are coming together. They're, they're brought together. It feels like they're brought together from above. And this does not. I mean, it could definitely be a sexual or a sensual connection. But it could be something else as well. It's some sort of partnership where there's compatibility. Okay. So what do we have for right around the 27th? Could be dealing with a Gemini, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Mmm. Death. Death. Endings and new beginnings. So this is a profound change. So this is a separation or a loss that leads to a new beginning, okay? It's a new life. So this is the end of a situation. So this is the end of something, okay? And life is about to change. Mm. Queen of Pentacles. So we have the Queen of Pentacles here. Queen of Pentacles is a homemaker, a business woman, uh, offers stability, security. Two of Pentacles reversed. Fool. Got somebody here that's going to be starting over. Okay, they're stepping into unknown territory. Uh, if two of pentacles reversed is like mm, somebody's been overcommitted to something. They've been indecisive. There's indecisiveness, unsure, unsure of what choice to make, biting off more than they can chew, needing to make a choice, holding on to their value. This person knows their value, has a lot to offer with the Queen of Pentacles. I mean, that's a golden opportunity needs to let go of fear and also needs to let go of something else because you can't, the two of pentacles reverse, this may be a little bit too much. Somebody may be overwhelmed with the choice that they have to make. This is, could be overwhelming. There's a need to reevaluate the choices and probably let go of fear and step forward in faith. Could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We also have Aries here, Scorpio. Um... Mmm. Emperor reversed. Ugh. King of Wands reversed. Six of 
Sun card. So we got some fire energy here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like we do have some sort of soulmate connection though. We have the Six of Cups. This is a could be something from the past, you know, a past life connection. This is something from the past. There's memories, there's familiarity, nostalgia, remembering what love feels like as well, thinking about love. We have somebody here that may have been guarding their heart. You know, they haven't been following their heart. They're, they've been very cold. Um, Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles has a golden opportunity. She's holding on to it. it. Looks like she's ready to give it to somebody. Um, but we do have an emperor in reverse. It's a father figure or somebody that may be in a position of authority, but this person may not be, uh, they mean, maybe they lack confidence. They lack confidence. They, because it feels like there is with the King of Wands reversed. Seeing the light. Somebody is going to be seeing the light. They're getting enlightened. They may have not been uh, taking any action. They haven't been taking any action. There could be some poor health here. There, there could be. Healing, healing, healing love with that lover's card and the sun card. Seeing the light. It's a new day. It's a new beginning. I don't know if somebody here had, there's a separation or a loss that leads to a new life, okay? Because death leads to rebirth and the sun leads to rebirth, okay? So there's a rebirth here. There is a rebirth. Something, I don't know if there's a reconciliation. I don't, I don't even know why I'm saying that. Uh, something is happening here. Um, the emperor reversed is... is uh, and next to the King of Wands reverse, you may have somebody here that's angry, um, unreasonable. They're being unreasonable. They're unwilling to give in. They're unwilling to give up. This is somebody that is uh, needing to make some sort of change. It has to do with stability. It has to do with uh, making a choice. Somebody is going to be making a choice. I feel like this person is... Uh, lacking confidence or lacking willpower, lacking determination, lacking drive. Um, maybe very controlling, clinging to control. Somebody is clinging to control. They are, uh, I don't know, we may even have a narcissist here. Just being honest, the Emperor reversed and the King of Wands reversed. I mean, this is somebody that, uh, I don't know, this could just be fearful, fearful of taking charge, fearful of taking a position because underneath that King of Wands reversed is the Sun card, which is a new day, it's a breakthrough. You know, it's a new beginning. We definitely have a new beginning here. We do. The fool, the death, and the sun, those are both, those are, those are all new beginnings. That's starting over from scratch, uh, stepping forward in faith, letting go of fear. Very fearful. So yes, somebody is letting go of their fear. They're going to be uh, letting go of control. They've been clinging to control, maybe clinging to the past memories. Uh, but I feel like we have a breakthrough here. So there's a new beginning. There's a, this is a new life. Somebody is stepping into a new life. They are with the fool that's stepping over the edge, stepping, stepping forward, stepping forward into something that is very, very beautiful. This is a, this is a warm place. It's, it's beautiful. It's bright. It's a bright new beginning. It's a bright new future. We have a bright new future here, but that emperor reversed. What is this emperor reversed? Eight of Pentacles. Mm, eight of Pentacles. What's the King of Wands reversed? Two of Cups. So yeah, we have somebody here that has been, I don't know if they've been rejected or they've been uh, very scared or lacking drive, lacking ambition in regards to a partnership. Now they're going to be putting in effort. They're working hard. They're going to be putting in effort, you know, work trying hard to uh, do something. So somebody's going to be putting in a lot of effort. They may have been lazy or, 
given up prematurely they may have deserted somebody in their time of need you know and now they're going to be stepping up you know they're going to be putting in more effort than they were in the past this is a partnership this is a union it's a beautiful union uh it's almost like can't control either. It's uncontrollable. You can't control it. You can't control. You can't control the connection. So there's some. There is some sort of connection here. There is. We have somebody here that uh, may have made a poor decision with the Emperor reversed and the King of Wands reversed. They may have that. You know that could be a poor choice, a poor decision. You know, and maybe maybe they just didn't have the courage or they didn't feel qualified or they, they didn't want to let go of their control. But it's like things are out of, I feel like things are out of control. This is like chaos. I feel like there's a need for faith and there's a need to uh, let go of fear and step forward, step forward into this new life, into this new beginning, okay? Stop going back and forth. Just do it. Just make your decision and do it. Okay, put in effort into this partnership. Do it. Work on the partnership. Work on the union because it looks like it's very compatible. So I feel like we have somebody here that, and it could, something may have happened impulsively with the King of Wands reverse. We may have somebody here that's very impulsive. They may have gotten angry or upset or didn't put in effort because they were in some sort of control mindset. You know, maybe they're trying to punish somebody. I don't know. But anyway, I feel like we have things there. Things are going to work out. Somebody's going to put in some effort into a partnership. Somebody, there could be a separation here with a death card. That is a separation and or a loss that leads to a new beginning. No matter what, that's what death is. It's an ending that leads to a new beginning. So, Queen of Pentacles. You need to let go, let go, let go of something. Make a choice. Step forward in faith. Have, have faith. This is a new journey. It's exciting. This is doing something on a whim. You know, have faith. Just do it with the Fool card. You know, uh, what is this Two of Pentacles reversed? We have somebody here that has a lot to offer and they've been holding out. It's like they've been holding out but that she's holding on. She's like, no, you know, I'm holding it. I'm not giving it to anybody. Two of Pentacles reversed is like chaos. It's like, oh no. Devil reversed. So Devil reversed is freedom. Freedom from control. Freedom from toxic behavior toxic bonds things all over the place we have because it's right next to the two of pentacles this is upside down breaking free um breaking free taking back control ace of cups reversed <laughs> emotionally guarded Somebody hasn't been, they've been very independent, holding on to their independence, not wanting to get tied to anybody. Maybe playing games, you know, two, two pentacles is juggling, you know, not giving their heart away, emotionally unavailable. You know, I feel like we have somebody here that has been... Um, not giving their heart, you know, they've been holding out, they've been holding on, you know, be, choosing to focus on their money, choosing to focus on their job, focus on everything but a relationship. But it feels like with that lover's card that we had, you know, something is happening, it's, it could be sudden, it could be, it's unexpected. There is. So we have Capricorn here, again, we have Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Aries, Scorpio, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, we have a new day. We have a new beginning. Stepping into the light. Uh, enlightenment. This is happiness. Extreme happiness. Extreme bliss. Uh, getting together with a partner that is very, very compatible. Things working out. 
may have, we have some may have somebody here that is deserting somebody else they may have made a poor choice i've just got to be honest you know they make obviously when there's a choice there's a choice between more than one person right or more than one option so there and i do see that i think that we have a masculine energy here that is making a choice to put in effort to a partnership that they may have neglected in the past they neglected it you know they were clinging to control um there is a separation here there is a separate there is absolutely with that death card but after the separation it's like a new life begins this is the death of a situation Somebody has been tied to something that is toxic and unhealthy where there's no love. Or they've been unwilling to give their heart away because of fear. Breaking free, breaking free from a loveless situation, going down a new path. Stepping into a new existence with that fool card. It really is. It's like this is a new journey. This is doing something on a whim very suddenly. Somebody's about to do something suddenly. It is. They are. It's like they can't control their emotions. You know, it's like this is emotional. It's very, very, very emotional with the Ace of Cups reversed. new beginning right next to the fool oh my god i mean this is a beautiful 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 new beginning it really is it's like leaving the past behind right stepping forward into unknown territory it's beautiful it is so it's a we have a beautiful new beginning here and it is with a partner and but that king of wands reverse there's some sort of fear here and lack of confidence you know there's a need to Put in effort. Put in effort. Maybe we have somebody here that didn't have any foresight. You know, they just didn't, they didn't see. They didn't see or whatever. That they needed to wait. They were being impatient. Um, Two of Wands reverse. It could be a return. It could be a sudden return. There could be a sudden departure. There's definitely been indecisiveness. Two choices, two options. What should I go? Where should I stay? Uh, somebody's been held back by fear. Extreme anxiety. Okay. Somebody was very anxious about going down this path. Extremely fearful. Extremely fearful. Two of Wands reversed. There's going to be, uh, how about that? We have three twos, two, two, two. This is about partnership. This is about partnership. It's about union. It's about foundation. It's about faith and trust. And it's about soulmates. Twos are soulmates, foundations, faith and trust, partnerships, choices, changes. And there it is. So we got two, two, two. Have faith and trust. It's time to take this step. Somebody's going to be taking a step that they were damn scared to take. It's like they're, it's almost like they're getting this offer that is, it's so beautiful. It's like, uh, uh, should I or shouldn't I? Should I, shouldn't I? Yeah, I think, I think that you should. I think that you should. I think that you should. Um, middle card that right now is the death card this is a card of transformation and profound life change life is about to change your foundation is going to change your partnership may change your life is going to change this is a major life change may have something to do with a father doesn't have to be could be it's a definitely a masculine energy here with the emperor reverse it's a masculine that may have not been listening to their heart or following their heart or has been very cold or 
you know, fearful, scared. I feel like scared. I want to, I just want to really focus on that scared situation because the two of wands reversed. But anyway, somebody's going to be putting in effort. They're going to be working really, really hard on a partnership. It's going to be a sudden change, suddenly going down this new path. This is like enlightenment. It's becoming enlightened, seeing the light. Mmm. Page of Cups. A welcome message of love is coming. Somebody is following their heart. This is flirting. Expressing feelings. An offer or an invite. Happy news. Right next to the sun card. I was clarifying the sun. This is definitely happy news. This is very happy news. Oh. Ace of Pentacles. Golden opportunity. New investment. Yes. Yes. This is what you manifested. Somebody has manifested something. The answer is yes. In the... In the and the sun card is freedom, and so isn't the fool card. Those are both cards of freedom, and they're both. And the sun card is a card of acceptance. So yes, there will be acceptance. Go down that path. You'll be accepted. You will be accepted. You you you'll be. And this is like so happy. It's like shining. It's like so 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 happy with whatever this change is. Going down, going through a new doorway. Somebody's going through a new doorway. They're they're taking an opportunity. And that starts with the a, the Queen of Pentacles, and we're ending it with this Ace of Pentacles. This is an opportunity for stability and security and long-term permanent, something permanent, something you can touch, something you can hold on to, something that you can keep, that you can have. This is an investment that you should take. So somebody is going to be investing in something and it is going to lead them down the path to something solid and stable and real. But it's going to require faith and trust. Faith and trust. Stepping forward in faith and trust. If you don't have faith and trust and you stay where you're at, in this loveless, toxic, whatever situation it is, then that's the consequences of your choice. Good luck.